on this fifth Sunday morning of a new day for us and a new beginning as we try and stuff, different stuff that is new. Let us begin with prayer. Lord, we thank you now for this day. We thank you, Lord, for letting us come. Lord, we pray now that we'll continue to lift you up. We'll continue to give you thanks. We'll continue to pray for the ones with this virus. Lord, for a shield of protection around us. So, Lord, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The choir of the trio will bless us with a selection. We serve an awesome God. is awesome church he is truly awesome we will now have our scripture to be a very familiar passage Psalms 121 and 1 
I lift up my eyes to the hill. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He'll watch over you, your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forever. Amen. Church. Truly, God is awesome. Truly, he will watch over. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking to the hill, which cometh my help right now. In times like this, we have to look to the hills. Because I don't know about you, but I need help today. I need help from the Lord. I need to call on him to be able to get us through a perilous time. This time now, we're going to ask if Lafayette will come. We'll still do our church announcements. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning, all you, all you folks tuning in on this fifth Sunday morning. Uh, I'd like to say welcome. Uh, we're still business as usual, as much as possible. Uh, so welcome to everybody tuning in on us on our, on our YouTube channel, Mount Olive Noonan. And uh, also remember that uh, uh, you can give online as well. If you just go click on the website, we are accepting your tithes and offerings as you so see it. I um, also want to say I don't have any announcements in front of me, uh, but uh, as we have things come up, we will be announcing them here uh, on, the, on the live streaming. And I want to say out to everybody, I know it's the end of March, but again, happy birthday and anniversary to everybody who had birthdays and anniversaries. And just uh, we're keeping everybody in our, in our prayers. We would like to ask you guys just to uh, please practice uh, good hand washing, social distancing, and just be safe out there uh, till we can get back up in uh, having church as normal. But until then, uh, we wish everybody just uh, to be well, and uh, we look forward to seeing you here very soon. Amen. 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 Remember, our website is www.mountolivenoonan.com. That's mtolivenoonan.com. I'll ask now if the choir will bless us with a selection, for we have our word. Amen.
Amen, amen. Let all our praise and let all our worship flow to you. If it is, church, that's what we need to flow to now. We need to flow to God. And during this time, the one thing we need to do is continue to worship. Worship him in spirit and truth. You may not be able to come to God's house right now, but wherever you are right now, that could be your church, and you can worship him right there if you're in your living room, if you're in your car, if you're on your job stream, but wherever you may be in your backyard, you can worship him wherever you at. You don't have to come to church to worship. Now, I would love for you to be here when we open back up, but during that time, worship him where you're at right now. Amen. Amen. For a topic I will use this morning, the topic is not, N-O-T, not. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you now for this day. We thank you, Lord, for letting us come. Lord, we pray now that we'll rest, we'll abide with you. Lord, we pray now that we'll worship and we'll continue to seek you, Lord, right now and ask you to give us strength. And I pray, Lord, a word will be spoken here today that's going to encourage us all to go further with our walk with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Your morning scripture will be found in the book of John. John, the 14th chapter, in the 27th verse. John 14 and 27. John 14 is a very familiar. The 27th verse reads, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled, mm -hmm. and do not be afraid. For God, for the people of God, thanks, thanks be to God. God. I like the way the New, the New Living Translation translates this too. I am leaving with you a gift, peace of mind and heart, and peace I give gift the world cannot give. So do not be troubled or do not be afraid. So we're going to press pause today. Obviously not all of we had not had a fifth Sunday service in a while. But let's start doing things different. I'll be speaking mostly from my heart today. Now unless, unless somebody's sleeping underneath a rock, we know that the coronavirus is, is here and it's spreading. We know, as I said last week, the stock market's dropping. People are panicking. And what should we do as a church? Well, not worry about it and go on with life unusual? Well, you're kind of underreacting then. Buy extra hand sanitizer, toilet paper, hide inside, prepare for the end of the world? Kind of overreacting then. But I'll try to speak today from a faith perspective. Just from a faith perspective. So bring us today, the old professional events, the trail bands, Grocery stores around Publix and Walmart, unless you want to buy some chicken to put on the grill, you better go there early when they open. Because they told us well, we're stocking it at night, but by the morning comes, everyone's at Walmart and everyone's standing at the doors of Publix and they're running in. Last I checked, we still got plenty of chicken out there, but we're buying up supplies left and right and the stores are running out. So what are we going to do? Ignore it, stockpile beans and rice and stay home for the next three months? Three ways I want to talk about on how we live not like the world. Three ways. This. We live by faith, not by fear. That's right. That's right. Now, when Jesus was uh, confronting the disciples of John 14, he said, Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Peace that goes beyond human understanding. Now, God's not sitting in heaven thinking, I didn't see this coming. Now, I will be honest with you, I did not see this coming. No, I did not see it was coming. I didn't think we would have our doors closed and we were doing online only. But I thank God that the church had the vision to do these things so we were prepared for this moment. But I can tell you now, our God is faithful. He is in control. He is good. And our God has a plan. He won't leave us. He won't forsake us. And we have to believe what Paul said in Romans. He is working in all things. Paul said in 2 Timothy 2, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self difference We are not panicking because we have peace, and we're not fearful because we have faith. 
2 Corinthians 5 and 7, for we live by faith, what? Not by sight. The thing of it is, what are you trusting today? What are you really trusting in today? I would say today, live by faith, trust in God. Church, we'll get above this and we'll rise above this. Right. So many people are scrounging now. So many churches are trying to figure out how to have church, how to have service. Mm -hmm. But we're going to live by faith in knowing that during this time, there will be an evangelistic explosion of online. I'm looking forward to God. I have the faith in knowing that God's got a plan for all this. Do I know what his plan is? No. But I do know this. Either we can believe what we sing or what, and what we say, or we don't. There's a song the man choir used to sing. It says, God has got it all in control. Yes. My question to you today, do you truly believe in faith? God has it all in control. We live by faith, not by fear. Now, I will say once again, practice good hygiene. If you feel like you're sick, don't go to work. Yes. If, hey, take your shoes off before you come in. It's something that I have to get in the habit of doing before I walk into the house now. Take my shoes off. Wash your hands. I think I must about wash my fingerprints off my hand because I've washed my hands so much. Let's, we have faith, but we're also going to use good, practical, common sense to get through. To my next point, we are sacrificial, not selfish. Paul, 2 Timothy 3 and 4 says this, don't be selfish, don't try to impress others, be humble, think of others as better as yourself, don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Now I want to ask you, when you're at Walmart and you're trying to, and you got two things of alcohol, and you're trying to rush to get it, and there's somebody there beside you, some lady or some man that you, that you just did beat them there. Now, what would you do? Take the two and go? Or give one to the person that's in need and keep one for yourself? Church, we can't be selfish. We've got to think of others in this time. If you have something that you can bless somebody with, don't hold up and just keep it. If you got that extra can of Lysol and you know someone is needing it, make sure they need it. The extra hand of sanitizer. Hey, whatever it is, whatever we need, let's not be selfish. We are the body of Christ. We put others ahead of ourselves. You know, Jesus could have been first in everything. But then what? He did not come for that. He said, whoever desires to be first shall be last, and whoever is last shall be what? Desire to be first. Right. So what we have to do is we've got to live by faith. We also cannot be selfish. That we've got to be there. We've got to be that body. So we will not be selfish. Don't stop worshiping God. Don't stop. Nextly, we shine the light. We do not hide it. We know Matthew 5 and 14 and 16 says, You are the light of the world, a town built, a town built on a hill that cannot be hidden. Neither does Neither do people light a lamp put into a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that I see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 14, Matthew 5, 14 through 6. During this time, people are afraid, unsettled and anxious, looking for hope. Well, guess what? We're in the hope-dealing business. We're going to offer hope to people. People are so scared right now. People are so afraid. I mean, I've heard people pray now that I hadn't heard praying in a long time. But we are hope dealers, we are light shiners, and we are love givers. The virus is highly contagious, but I'm praying for some Christians, like I said last week, for us to be more contagious. That let us show Jesus. Let our light shine. Let us keep spreading. We live by faith, not by fear. We are not... Sacrif we are sacrificial. We're going to give up, and we're not selfish. Let me tell you, love can spread faster than any virus. Faith can spread faster than any virus. Hope can spread faster than any virus, and so can peace. See, there's one thing to, we can be cautious, but do you have peace, church? Or right now you're sitting at home worrying about your job? Are you worrying about what's going to happen? Hey, that's where our faith comes in. Do we trust that God is going to get us through this? We trust that God is going to deliver us from this. Now, maybe it might hit us at home one day. I don't know. 
But what I do know is this. We're not going to be afraid. We're not going to fear. We will be cautious, but we're going to stand on God's word. I looked in the Bible, the word fear not, over 365 times. I guess God was trying to drive a point home to us. Fear not. But I want to talk about some different knots that were in the Bible. An angel at the birth of Jesus said, what did he say? Do not be afraid. Bring you good news, and I bring you great joy. Jesus said, why did he come? He said, I did not come for the healthy, but came for the sick. Not for the righteous, but for the sinners. Well, I'll talk about some women who are not of this world. He said, do not live by what bread alone, but every word of God. Jesus said, Jesus said, does not lead us in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Also said, do not store for yourself treasures on earth, but store yourself what in heaven. He also said, do not worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. He also said, we walk by faith, what? Not by sight. God has not given us that spirit here. Jesus, not my will, but Lord, let your will done. Well, I want to ask you, do we have good news today? Yes, we do, church. We are saved by grace and what? Not by works. Jesus justified faith in Christ, not the works of the law. Do not set your mind on earthly things, but set your mind on things above. Do not become weary of doing good, for in due time you shall reap the harvest. Well, I want to talk about some more. Will it be a battle? Yes, it will. Paul said, we struggled not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, authorities, and powers of this world. We will not be overcome evil, but evil with what? Good. And know what? The Lord is not slow at keeping in his promise. We will not give. We will not grieve like the rest of mankind. We have no, like, have no hope. We will not give up meeting together because we're still meeting together, but we're meeting online versus meeting together. We're going to continue to talk. We're going to continue to meet. We're going to continue having, you see, the devil tried to stop God's words from going out. But see, he could not stop because we have the technology now to still reach your homes, to reach your houses. And guess what? The word is still going out, even though he is trying to muddle it, but he's still going out. We are not ashamed of Jesus in the power of the head because we live by faith, not by fear. We are sacrificial. We're not selfish. We shine like the white oil. We will not hide it. But I want to tell you right now, church, read, that we know I look into the hills which come to my help. I don't know about you, but I'm looking right now. And I want to give you one knot that's so powerful than any knot that you have. And you know what? I want you to take this acronym, and I want you to just take it, and I want you to post it in your car. Get a little sticky note and post it in your car. Post it up on your refrigerator. Post it on your cubicle at work. Post it wherever you can. And just whenever you get and feel like darkness is creeping in, put on this acronym right here for not night only temporary. So I don't know about you right now, but night is only temporary. This season we're going through, it is only temporary. It's only going to be for a little while. So what we have to do right now is realize when we feel like, and I don't know about you, you're going to probably get discouraged. I might get discouraged, or somebody we love might get discouraged. That's when you look over there at that acronym and realize, oh, night. Night is only temporary, because I don't know about you, the word says, because when in the morning we're going to go through the night, but guess what? It's only what about you today, church? What about you at home today? Not. Night is only temporary. This is only a temporary season. This too shall pass. We are different out of this world. Our minds are not conformed, but transformed so that we can do the will of God. I'll ask now if the choir, as the choir, Tiffany, Carl, and Derek, leads the song. As they sing, I want you to meditate at your house right now. As they sing, I want you to let the words straight your heart. And I want you to just keep saying in your mind, night is only temporary. Just keep saying it over and over again. Night is Lord, deliver. 
deliver me Cause all I seem to do is hurt me Take this time and just give God thanks for all the blessings. He has blessed us then, He is blessing us now, and we, He for, will forever bless us. This is. I know church God will deliver us mm -hmm. we just have to take time and trust him 
As we get ready for next week, we will have Palm Sunday. In church, we will more than likely have to spend Easter together again online. So keep us in prayer. We'll keep you in prayer. In the coming weeks, we will have the set up for us to do altar call together on phone. We are working on that and more announcements to follow. So if all minds clear, let us pray. Lord, we thank you now for this. We thank you, Lord, for letting us come. Lord, in this coming week, watch over us, keep us, and protect us. I pray, Lord, we'll use this time to be the church, Lord, right now. Now we have to be outside the walls of this house. So, Lord, let us go, and let us not be afraid. But let us know that night is only, night is only temporary. And this is a temporary season. And we will come through for shine much better. In the name that's above every name we pray. And Lord, continue to bless us as a church as we be a blessing to you and to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Good evening. Good evening.